Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video. And in the last couple of videos, we were talking about uh, GitLab CI, GitHub Actions, and we were able to deploy our Node.js microservice on AWS instance. So now we know how to deploy a simple app using GitLab uh, CI or GitHub Actions to remote instance. And that remote instance can be AWS, DigitalOcean, or anywhere. We just need to set up a search so that our GitLab CI runner or GitHub Action runner can push the code and do the restart script. Now, next thing which we are going to talk about is a little bit different here. We are going to shift our gears and uh, what we are going to do. I will just talk a little bit about that. And then we will do the implementation. So this is the whole setup. Now we are going to do the same thing, but using Lambda because this is AWS instance, which is a server server environment, right? AWS EC2 instance. That means your application is up and running. But now we all talk about the Lambda serverless and all those things. So we will also explore an option of deploying your Node.js microservice, which is created here. This is, let's say, our uh, Node.js app, right? This Node.js app, how can we just deploy and push that as a Lambda? So I have already created a playlist that talks about AWS serverless, Lambda, DynamoDB, uh, CloudWatch, API Gateway and all. And here to deploy your service as a Lambda because your service is still uh, act as a microservice that will be just event driven. That means when you send a request through some endpoint, then only the Lambda will work. I mean, it's not like a, a server which is running up and 7, 24, 7, 24, 7. It's the Lambda which is sitting idle when there is a request comes. It will bootstrap itself and it will start responding to your request. So that we also check and what we are going to do is here also we are going to use a GitLab CI or GitHub Actions and we are going to instead of uh, deploying that on the server, we are just going to package the application. Here we are going to create a package because Lambda is nothing but a function. So here we are going to create a package and what this package will contain. Now, if you try to understand what the Lambda function is, Lambda function is nothing but the whole code which you wanted to run. So this is the Lambda package we are going to create. It's nothing but an archive. This is the Lambda.zip that we are going to upload to AWS APIs. And here these are the some CI steps which will be set up, lint test, build and deploy. When it comes to deploy, what is the deployment here? Because here we are not copying the code to the server. Here we are, what we are going to do is, we are going, we already have this Lambda zip file, okay? So whatever the microservice you have written here, Node.js microservice, we will archive it. We will create a zip file for it, including the node modules, because all the dependencies will also be archived with this. Node modules, all the third party dependencies, all will create a, we will create a single archive for it. I'll just try to I'll make it transparent. Yeah. So this is the whole zip file we are creating. And this whole thing will happen through the CI. So we just create a zip. We'll just do the build, test, lint, everything is fine. Now create a zip archive for the Lambda. And because Lambda is nothing but a function, that's that's also important thing uh, which we all we, which we need to remember. It's not the HTTP server we are starting. We are starting just a simple, we are just invoking a simple function. Because if you just see how all these things are connected in the serverless environment, this is your API gateway. Because Lambda can be invoked in different ways. We need to have an API gateway and this is your Lambda. Lambda. 
लैमडा नोट जी एस सर्विस लेट्स कलर दैम दिस इज योर ए पी आई गेट वे एंड योर ए पी आई गेट वे विल सेंड रिक्वेस्ट प्रोक्सी सेंड रिक्वेस्ट टू द लैमडा एंड लैमडा यू कैन ऑल्सो हैव सम काइंड ऑफ डेटा बेस मे बी डायनमो और आर डी एस एनीथिंग यू विल कनेक्ट टू द डेटा बेस यू विल फैच द डेटा एंड दैट्स इट यू विल बी एबल टू डू द होल साइकिल दिस इज एक्चुअली द टिपिकल सर्वरलेस एप विच वी डिप्लॉय दैट हैज़ अ लैमडा ए पी आई गेट वे एंड डायनमो डी बी बट दिस कोड कोड इज नथिंग बट ए नोट जी एस माइक्रो सर्विस एंड वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू अचीव इज डिप्लॉय द नोट जी एस माइक्रो सर्विस एज अ लैमडा बिकॉज दैट इज अ माइक्रो सर्विस दैट कैन ऑल्सो भी डिप्लॉयड एज अ सिंगल लैमडा ओके and the api gateway can handle all the requests coming for different endpoints deployed in this lambda so whatever the big small or whatever the size of the microservice that can be deployed in a single lambda instead of having 10 different lambdas or and each and every lambda is handling a different different request earlier we used to create http get put post for different different resources here we are trying to achieve a single lambda for the microservice so here we will create an archive and then we will just upload the archive to aws environment so this is aws lambda here okay so the objective here is copy this archive here into aws lambda and then aws lambda is nothing but a runtime environment whenever you get a hit a request to the lambda it actually runs your code runs your api server and it will be able to respond to your request but all this setup this thing uh, creating archive and then putting the code to the aws lambda because aws lambda is in the aws runtime environment we need a aws access key and secret key we need to we need to have a command line access or some way to access the aws environment to upload the code to the aws lambda so here we are going to use aws cdk that is very big and important uh, topic aws cdp cloud development kit okay, let's say so this is aws cdk that's the thing which we are going to talk about in the coming videos let's say you are writing a simple function how we can deploy that as a lambda so i already have these videos covered while i was talking about uber eats clone couple of videos and i also covered how to work with the aws cdk aws cdk is nothing but uh, creating the infrastructure using code so we need to create a lambda api gateway a lambda function and we need to deploy into the aws environment all those things will happen in your code which you are writing so we are not going to manually go to aws and create a lambda functions and then manually upload this zip file of your microservice dot zip and go and manually upload that we will use aws cdk in our ci cd pipeline we will write some code type script code and that code we will run that will build our infrastructure and that will also deploy our code to aws lambda and we'll also create a infrastructure if we need dynamo db sns sqs lambda api gateway s3 anything you can get through aws cdk so it's not like okay i will just straight uh, straight away start with the gitlab ci and github actions and write a simple service and deploy it to aws environment it will be little fast for everyone so first we will talk about aws cdk how it really works we will have a simple microservice a simple hello world node js api and we will try to deploy that as a uh, try to deploy that as a lambda function manually and then we will see how these things can work together when we want to deploy our auth microservice booking microservice into lambda on aws environment okay so the next coming videos we will talk about aws cdk we will do this real tiny simple microservice we will deploy that as a lambda manually we will see how these all these aws component really works when you are doing manually and then we will orchestrate all these things through the gitlab ci and we will write this cdk code in the typescript javascript so aws cdk is just a way in which you can build your infrastructure through the simple code if you have seen my uber eats clone playlist there i have covered and if you are already know then you can skip skip couple of videos which i'm going to add